Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. Today we're testing out the Li Fan E4 electric scooter. It is a uh, scooter with a 3000 watt Bosch motor, uh, hub motor, um, which, yeah, naturally, which is attached to the, um, to the rear wheel or is actually situated in the rear wheel of the uh, scooter. It is all LED. It is the latest, uh, the latest installment of Leafan. They are also in the business for quite some time now. And uh, it looks pretty nice, pretty sturdy, pretty nice for the city. Uh, we have a maximum speed of about 70 kilometers an hour with the biggest version. We also have two versions available. This is the bigger version here. Uh, we have two batteries included in the bigger version. The, uh, this version costs 4,995 euro plus 200 euro registration in Spain. Uh, you can deduct 1,100 euro from the government uh, subsidies uh, for this. And uh, but only in Spain, of course. I don't know how it is in other countries. Um, yeah, for the Sydney city, definitely interesting. And I would actually compare this now to the Piaggio one. Uh, which would be a good alternative to this one. Piaggio one, a little bit cheaper, a little bit less, uh, a little bit, a bit less power, but I don't know if you actually need it. Anyways, uh, let's get uh, to the uh, controls and the display and the storage space. Well, we don't have any storage space. So on the left hand side, we have the rear brake lever. Then we have a, a light switch here for high beam, low beam and for passing. Uh, we have a turn signal switch here, which is not of the highest quality, but definitely better than other uh, electric scooters that I've seen, like Super Soko, which is very flimsy, but this is actually sufficient, I would say. We have a horn here. On the right hand side, we have the throttle right here. We ha also have the brake lever for the front brake, disc brake. We have a mode switch here you can switch it in three positions uh, sport drive and eco i think i'm not really sure if there's a difference i tried it and i i cannot really say what the difference is we have a hazard light switch here and we have the starter switch we have to press it for two or three seconds to get it started so that it doesn't run away while you're in in neutral here <coughs> down below we have the uh, ignition switch right here you can open the seat from there we also have a usb connection here we have a little teeny tiny cubby hole we have a um, we have a hook here for your grocery shopping and this is the under seat uh, storage compartment which is actually not there because we have two batteries in there uh, two batteries are already included in the price of five thousand euro um, you cannot use them simultaneously. You have to uh, swap them if you're low on juice. Uh, one battery lasts about 60 kilometers. So in total we have about 
uh, 120 kilometers with these two batteries. If we take on, out one battery in the city, for example, we have a little bit of storage space, but we cannot definitely put any helmets in there. So this is a display, you cannot really change anything, you don't have any buttons or whatever uh, to control it, you just will see, what you see is what you get. Uh, in the upper corner there we have a Bluetooth signal uh, indicator, then we have a P indicator uh, for parking, you can turn that off and turn on the uh, scooter naturally by, uh, by uh, uh, pushing the ignition key uh, or the, uh, the starter key, sorry. Uh, then we have uh, the uh, remaining battery in there, which is 64% at the moment. We have the mode switch here, the mode E, D and S. Uh, I don't know what these are for. We will see if this is actually the battery here. And we have a, a ampere uh, power output display showing this. We have the speedometer and we have the odometer down below. Uh, that's all there is to us. You, you cannot, I don't, I don't think you can actually uh, switch it to trip because I don't see any buttons to do so. So this is the uh, Lifan E4. Well, let's get on the road and let's test it out. So let's put it in E mode. I don't really know what that means. I mean, probably economy or something, but I don't see any difference in power there. We ha need to push this for a few seconds. So we're out of park, then it says ready and then we can go. So on the uh, cobblestone road here, actually it leaves a very good impression. Uh, usually you see, you know, very cheap scooters on cobblestone. Cobblestone, <laughs> they are just crazy rattling. But this is okay. So it's not the highest quality, not the lowest. So maybe in the middle, not too bad. The Leafan E4 is a uh, electric scooter with a 3,000 watt Bosch motor in the in the hub in the rear uh, it also has a peak power of 4700 something watts uh, a maximum speed of 70 kilometers an hour and we can go about uh, 120 kilometers if we use both batteries the both two batteries are included in the price one battery will last about 60 kilometers I don't know how fast we can go in eco mode? Oh, 50, okay. In, 50, in uh, eco mode we can go as fast as 50 kilometers an hour. Okay, I thought it was unlimited, only the uh, uh, acceleration was restricted, but no, you can only go up to 50 in eco, eco mode. So let's see how fast we can go in drive mode. Probably 70 or so, but this only goes to 70, they say. I don't know. Why is everybody going? This is shows a red. <laughs> so, yeah, from the, uh, from the handling and everything, it is actually quite nice. It feels fairly sturdy, good for the city. Feels a little bit like uh, robust as the Piaggio one. <clears throat> so I will compare these two because uh, the Piaggio one is the closest, I guess, competitor to this one. And uh, it is actually, it is actually cheaper. I mean, uh, the, the power is a little bit uh, lower than this one, but Piaggio one costs around 3,000 to 3,300 euro for the 60 kilometer version. 
So uh, this is a very good competitor to, the, to this one actually. I think I can wrap this up to make it a short and snappy um, review of the Leafan E4 electric scooter 3000 watt uh, power maximum 4700 something watts is a maximum peak power and uh, yeah pretty nice for the city you have to see for yourself compared to the Piaggio one if uh, if you think it is a good deal for you uh, it has a bit more power than the Piaggio uh, other than that of course the price is uh, uh, a little bit too high I think you know um, I would actually tend to the Piaggio one just watch my uh, video of the Piaggio one here right here um, yeah other than that a pretty nice and snappy little uh, uh, scooter here um, the quality is not the highest quality but definitely also not the lowest quality of uh, plastics here so it is not too bad and uh, the good thing is you get two batteries with it you know uh, the batteries cost also a lot of money so it's good to have two batteries with 60 kilometer capac capacity each thanks very much for watching uh, this has been a ride out take care bye bye